our, our own station account tweeted a link to John Wall warming up. Now, whoever tweeted it out was wrong. It wasn't before last night's game. It was before the Pistons game. But it was John Wall, I guess, sort of at the end of his workout there, pregame, just passed the ball to himself. He was at sort of the top of the key. Right. Bounced in the air, and he dealt, he reverse dunked it, and it looked spectacular. That's encouraging. Can Dougie find that video? Uh, it was tweeted within the last 24 hours. Wait till you see this, Cakes. It's you're, it's going to blow your mind. Very good. Uh, John looks incredible. Look, there it is, Cakes, on NBC Sports Washington. How incredible is that footage? Looks pretty good for a guy coming off an Achilles Look injury. At Look at John Wall coming off a blown Achilles. I mean, it looks good for anybody, let alone a guy coming off just a horrifying injury like an Achilles for a guy with his skill set. I mean, there's a big part of me that says, what are we waiting for? Let's just get him out there. What, oh, what no, are we no, waiting no, for? No, no, no. When you see that? No. I mean, what, are we, what else we is there to do? No, no. This is a lost season. Just you're keep, right. Just keep him under wraps. Look, you're let right. Him, let him get to 100%. I mean, he looks pretty close to 100% in that clip. <laughs> I mean, uh, is it going to get better than that? I mean, I don't know. But you know what? There's patience, EB. We need some patience here. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say right now I'm already wrong. I wrote him off when he blew out his Achilles. Right. I wrote him off. Yeah. I said, this is a guy that relies on his wheels. Uh, it's the most devastating injury you can have as a basketball player is to blow out your Achilles. Uh, but the advancements they've made medically in the last 10 years or so, where you've got guys like Suggs who've come back from two of them. Right. And I'm not sure he's made a Pro Bowl since he's had uh, the two, but he probably has because I think he's been to six or seven Pro mm-hmm. Bowls. Um, Richard Sherman, didn't he just make a Pro Bowl uh, coming off a of torn Achilles? Draft yeah. T-shirt would know. Yeah. That's no, I don't guy. know that You know, he was never really a speed guy, but the fact that he could make a Pro Bowl coming off of that is incredible. Um, so I, I, I'll admit I, I'm already wrong. I thought he'd come back at about 80% and I never thought you'd see that kind of explosion from John and just think about it. I mean, if they're just going to continue to rehab him and strengthen him and all that, this whole off season or this regular season, next off season, he's going to be ready to rock. I, I'm impressed. <laughs> Okay, but you've seen one clip. That doesn't that's mean all I do need to see. Night after night after night. Well, okay, there might be some wear and tear, but that that's a, I never thought that was in it. That was never in the cards. See, the way Achilles surgeries have been explained to me, I'm no doctor, but, you know, when you shred your Achilles, right, so it it explodes, and then they have to cut it, and then they short, it, it, it ends up short. It's short. It's never the same, right? You have to the process and everything, the rehab, it all goes well, but it's never the same as the other because it's shorter. Um, but somehow, I don't know if they've figured this out. Because guys are coming back from, I mean, DeMarcus Cousins, Richard Sherman, Suggs has come back from two of them. I mean, hell, didn't uh, uh, they get the, this Junior Gallette, he came back from two of them. Now, I know he's desperate to get back in the league right now, but he came back and played in the NFL after blowing out two of them. So, I'll admit I was wrong uh, on John Wall. I, I, I you got know. you all steamed up. <laughs> Think about this. I Bertan's going to get a boatload of money. Yeah, he's definitely going to get paid. All right, the the money is outrageous in the NBA. But if they could find a way, and I don't, you know, I don't know their salary cap structure. It's pretty, pretty bad, right? But can they can they afford to sign Bertans to twenty twenty five million a year? I don't know. And have John and have Brad. You know what? That's for Tommy Shepard to worry about. Tommy Shepard is can, 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 can they fit those guys in? Well, they can. You can resign. You can go over the cap to sign your own players. Still, they still have that whole yeah, that like whole Bert deal. Wright By the way, Bertans stuff. is a he's just a full on steal at this point, making seven million dollars oh, yeah. for his production. Oh yeah, no, he should be making triple that. No, he's going to get twenty plus, yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be an extended. It's going to be a long term deal. Yeah, he's going to get over a hundred million dollars at the bare minimum. Um, yeah, because he's young too. He's only twenty seven. Yeah, that. Do we like any of the other young guys? I mean, they signed Davis, they, right? Didn't they give him a, a decent deal? Or no? Hold on. Why am I spacing on Davis? Oh, oh Bryant, Tom, Thomas Bryant, Bryant. I think he's getting around eight million a year. Yeah, eight or nine three, million. But they've locked him 25. up for a couple years, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's. In we the love fold. Rui. Right, Rui's going to be legit. Like, he may not been, be a star, but Rui's going to be solid. That must have been one really swift kick in his uh, in his privates for him to miss five games. Right. Must have done some damage. Now they still haven't solved their defensive woes by any stretch, but they might not be as far off as we think. I don't know how you solve their defensive woes. 
I really yeah, I don't. don't. I, I don't think they care. I think That's they're. The I think it's impossible to solve them. Yeah. You got to have a couple guys though that can lock down. I, you know, J- uh, Brooks says that that Beal can. You know, when Beal wants to. Right. But uh, if you're making if you're making thirty million and you're making thirty million to score, I think defense is always a it, second or third priority. It is, but at some point somebody's got to pay attention to it. Somebody on the court has to pay attention to it. I guess. I mean, you know. LeBron's openly admitted that he hadn't played defense in the last three, I mean, how four many, years. How many years have we been saying the Wizards really need to improve that defense? Oh, it's been de- happening for uh, decades. Over a decade. Yeah. yeah. We'd have Whitman on all the time and break happens. his balls about it. Every coach we have on, we'd break their balls about the defense. Yep. Every <sighs> Wizards team that, that gets trotted out there apparently is allergic to playing defense. But but I think, don't you think that team next year have some, I mean, there's some intrigue there. Give me Brad, give me uh, Davis Bertans, give me Thomas Bryant, Rui. I'll tell you what, IT's not the same player, but he's been heating up a little bit you know of what? late. I like Bertans. Off the bench, Mo Bogner. I like Bertans, obviously, from what he's brought, but if Tommy Shepard thinks it's a smart move to deal him and you get a pick and he's not in your future plans, I'm okay with that too. Okay, but because I would you're, keep you're him. You're dealing him at an all-time high. Yeah, but I'd keep him. You're not going to draft anybody better than him. You wouldn't think. You're not going to draft anybody better than Davis Bertans. Okay, so you got to think, as good as Bertans has been, imagine him with Wall. I mean, it's just another guy with speed to space the floor for him. I agree. But I'm just going to let Tommy Shepard take care of it. Of course. What about Because you Cakes trust Shepherd. that guy. Yeah, Cakes doesn't, he doesn't I'm trust a, himself. Uh, yeah, I'd be a terrible GM. I'd be the world's worst GM. I'm I, way too impulsive. I'd be, I'd be right behind you. I'd I'm, be awful. I'm size to trade him. Yeah, I'd be fine like with trading guy, him. Like him too. Again, like Hicks, it's never been higher. His He's value about, will he, never be higher than it is right now. $15 million, $20 million to, got to a, probably a bench player. Oh, I don't think he's a bench player. I mean, well, he now, has by the, by the Yeah, but by the end of this year, I don't think he's going to be anybody's bench player. I mean, the Spurs just let him walk away. The Spurs are, Anybody I know. can shoot. All he's more, shoot. as Brooks said, as <laughs> uh, Pop said, he's more than just a shooter. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm a big fan. he doesn't play defense. <laughs> no, nobody has been documented. Maybe Rui. Can Rui play defense? Not really. <laughs> it's just no one cares in this league. Nobody cares. It's not It's not unique to the Wizards. They just happen to be worse than you know everybody what? else. You know who doesn't real, really care? The NBA as a whole. That's what I'm they saying. They don't want 88 to 86 games. They yeah, want yeah. games to be 120 it. to 115.